Hey guys, Sean here. Welcome to another Halo 2 Anniversary Forge map feature. We're looking at an infection map entitled Bates Motel, which was made by the Murdoch Man. This map is a defend the house style infection map, so as a human you're going to want to hold out inside of this house. The house is actually inspired by the mansion from Psycho or Bates Motel. Keeping in fashion of the movie Psycho, this map actually is in black and white if you couldn't tell by now, uh, which really amplifies some of the map aesthetics. For example, this TV right here. If this was a color based map, the TV aesthetic wouldn't work quite as well. However, since he's made use of the black and white filter, a lot of the aesthetics are amplified and they look a lot better than they normally would. The architecture of the mansion is incredible. Everything looks really great. I mean, the windows have a really nice shape to them. They're not just a traditional rectangle window. They have a little bit of a shape going on to them. Uh, it really fits the theme of the map and it makes itself stand out quite a bit. Additionally, there's multiple play spaces inside of the building, so you're not limited to just one or two rooms. There's a bunch of different rooms with multiple entrances that offer different experiences depending on where you hang out inside of the house. Aside from just the aesthetics on this map, the gameplay felt nostalgic to me. It reminded me of a map entitled Bart's Manor from Halo 3. It was an infection map built inside of Foundry and it was a mansion. The gameplay on this map is very similar to that, so fans of Bart's Manor will feel right at home on this map. One of the primary holdout locations inside of the house is this room right here. We found ourselves holding out in this room quite a bit and it worked out really well. At no point in time will you ever be fully safe up here because you always have your back turned to one of the entrances. This requires you to use communication and position players in various areas that you can lock down the specific rooms, much like a lot of other infection maps. However, on this map it's a little bit different because there are so many entrances, it's not just two doors into a room. For example, this room right here, there's two doors plus a window, which really changes up the basic infection mechanic where players tend to only use two entrances per each room. Pair this with the fact that zombies can kill you fairly quickly on this map, and you'll notice that rounds are really quick. Zombies can get up into these rooms very easily, they simply need to jump on one of the gazebos or head up the stairs or maybe jump up onto the front area of the house, and they're getting into these rooms very quickly off of spawn, so your zombie encounters are very frequent. When I first saw this map, I was a little bit concerned with the staircase. I felt like the staircase was a little bit too steep for me. Normally I'm used to about 30 degree inclined staircases or less. Anything more than that, I feel like the player is scaling a wall rather than walking up a staircase. However, on this map, it works out really well for multiple different reasons. Number one, he's used a lot of blocks to actually create a stair effect. So as you're walking up it, it feels like you're climbing upstairs rather than just running up the side of a wall. Additionally, it works out from a gameplay standpoint because if you want to shoot down the stairs and utilize that bottleneck, as a human, you need to stand at the very top of the staircase to get a full sight line down to the bottom. Now, since the staircase is so steep, zombies are able to swing at you from the very bottom of the staircase and lunge all the way up to the top. As a result, it's very risky to stand at the top of the staircase. However, if you're quick enough with your shotgun, you're able to lock down the staircase and thus lock down the upper portion of the house a lot better. You'll notice a lot of humans actually die trying to do this. They're able to successfully kill one or two zombies at the same time. However, any more than that coming up the staircase, they'll end up getting overwhelmed and they will die. As a result, the entire upper section of the house will fall and the infected will just kind of swarm in and take everyone down. And as I said earlier, this contributes to the classic infection feel that this map gives you. It reminds me of those days in Bart's Manor where you were either guarding the attic or the entrance of the house. It really feels similar to that. At the heart of any infection map is its game type. In this map, you can use two different game types. The recommended game type is Stronghold, which was also made by Murdoch Man. Uh, you use a shotgun and a magnum. It's a two-hit based infection mode. However, if you are a fan of the one-hit infection variant, you can also play Save One Bullet, which was made by myself, uh, which works very similar to the way Stronghold works. However, the only difference is that you have very limited ammunition in your shotgun. You don't have a magnum, and it is a one-hit based infection variant, so if you get hit one time, you're dead. The common ground between these two game types is the fact that you're going to be using a shotgun as your primary weapon, which adds to the fact that this map is very player friendly. Players who don't normally play infection or only play it, uh, you know, in matchmaking every once in a while will be able to have a lot of fun on this map. It's not just for the hardcore infection players. As a result, you can throw this on in a lobby where you're playing a bunch of different game modes. As I said earlier, this map is entitled Bates Motel and it was forged by the Murdoch Man. You can find both the game type as well as the map in his file share, so make sure you give this one a download. My name is Sean, I thank you guys all for watching, and I will see you guys next time.